up guys, it's your boy Shaka360 from ManHustles.com and today we're here with another beef video that you guys, uh, you know, enjoy and like and I'm gonna tell you guys another story. Yesterday, today is actually a long day for me. I have two games that I gotta go to, one at six and then I gotta go to another game later on at night and hopefully we win both of those games in basketball. I posted a little highlight video on my last video. I appreciate all your comments. I appreciate all your likes on the last two videos I did also as well for the Addict Cards and Mr. Golden Sports story that I told you guys. So today I'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys some more beef videos and let's go ahead and talk today about a beef that really didn't end right away. It actually continued because uh, there's two people I wanna talk about today. First of all, let's talk about uh, Problem. And you guys know who, who don't know who Problem is. Problem is the best player to uh, to play Madden uh, in the whole entire entire Madden series because he's won so many tournaments. He's won Madden Nation. He's won uh, you know uh, the Madden Challenge with Virgin Gaming, and he did it after a year of being of not playing Madden at all. He came back and then he just won the whole thing. You know. So he's one of the greatest players of all time and I respect him for that. And I actually looked up to him because I actually used to watch Madden Nation back in the days when he used to be out on ESPN. But what really happened right here, guys, is that, you know, uh, it was around Madden 13 and I was doing really good. In Madden 13, it was a good time where the Madden Challenge was going on and I actually qualified for the Madden Challenge, but I didn't qualify to go to Vegas. So I didn't qualify, you know, I did, I did play in the tournament but I lost in the first round so I didn't qualify to go to Vegas so I was watching the stream when they were there in Vegas and um, I was watching problem stream and I liked this play that he was doing I don't know if you guys remember but he had this fade route on the end zone right in the goal line fade it was a goal line fade and, and he that fade route you just throw it right away and then you could get like an automatic touch on right so the next day after he won the he won the Madden challenge you know, I was looking at his at his gameplay, and he, and I actually posted a video congratulating Problem on the video, and I actually showed. You know, this is what Problem was doing on the video. I mean, this is what Problem was doing in the tournament. Go ahead and check it out. It's a really nice play. And by the way, Problem, uh, congratulations for winning the Madden Challenge, man. Good stuff, keep it up, you're doing a, a lot of good things and stuff like that. So I gave him props and everything, you know. Next thing I know, this guy is dissing me on Facebook. And I'm like, dude, you serious, man? Like, come on, man. Like, over what, you know? Because he was uh, mad or he got upset that I posted that play of him. Like, if I was stealing it or something, you know. And I want you guys to, I know you guys didn't have mixed feelings about this because... This is, I think this is ridiculous how Madden community is the only community that deals with this. I have never seen the FIFA say don't shoot from the corner because uh, this guy uses that kick or something, you know, or do not quick scope on COD because this guy already quick scopes who is a commentator or whatever, you know. For me, if I'm going to, uh, this is what I like to do, man. This is the reason I started doing Madden and my website was because I used to go to Gamers Alone and play or used to play the top players and they used to kick my ass so bad with some little things that I just didn't know how to stop and my job that's when I had an idea of creating a website where I could figure out those things all right I could figure out what you're running I could figure out what they're doing and then I could teach it to other people uh, by the what I saw and all you have to do is record the game right and figure out the formations look up the formations figure out what playbook they're using everything like that and that's how you figure things out well problem was kind of like this in me on his facebook like kind of saying like oh yeah he got my play or whatever like like if i couldn't use it or i couldn't teach it to anybody just because it's he ran it on that tournament and i just feel that that's that's bs man uh you know no disrespect to problem after i i congratulated him on that video i don't know if he even saw the video or maybe he just got people going to him saying oh shocker you don't know who shocker is uh shocker posted your play on, on youtube or whatever you know maybe he didn't even see it for himself or what the video said you know but i did give him props you know and after the after the, that day uh you know it was just kind of bitter because i i looked up to the dude you know he came out in man nation this guy is i guess they don't care bro like they don't know that they have fans or people look up to them you know and he comes out on a disc like that after I congratulated him uh, on uh, 
on the video and after that guys it was just total rampage uh, with G code you know they were talking smack at the Madden lab and stuff like that you know any if anybody would dislike my video it was from them uh, most of the they had my videos on their website tell them to dislike my videos and stuff like that you know it's just crazy man and then after that uh, your mama came into the, to the picture and that guy is just somebody guys that it's insane guys because this guy is a grown man. I had him on my Facebook as a friend, thinking that maybe the shit will slow down, you know. I had him on Facebook. I went back and forth with him. We came on PS4. I beat him four times in Madden, you know. And I was like, can I do it? Like, if you need any help with anything, I'll help you out, you know. And, uh, no, he kept doing this videos of me just because he's problems friend. And because I posted that video, he just wouldn't stop. Like, he will, every fucking day, he will be... Posting a video, posting a different video, posting a different video, and then everything until one day, guys, this is the shit that got me pissed off, and I had to erase that guy completely out of my, ex like, my existence, like, whatever I know it's real, like, exists, right, I had to erase him and take him away from me, because this guy's uh, full of put a neg negative energy, man, and if I have people around me like that, trying to put me down, you know, you're gonna start feeling that, that way, so... This is what happened. He posted the last video, uh, Shocker, this, I don't know, part five or whatever. And on the video, he has stuff, personal stuff from my Facebook that he posted on his video. And one of the biggest personal things was that uh, one of my, uh, my grandma had passed away. And he put the picture of my grandma who was actually buried right on her burial he posted on the thumbnail of his video which i think that was a really big but like bullshit ass move like on his part like i i wouldn't post i wouldn't go and post your mama's family's picture and start making fun of them you know stuff like that on my youtube or start start talking smack and then another thing this guy your mama guys he went to tournaments dressed up uh, with my hoodie, you know, saying Madden all stanks and shit like that, you know. And the thing is, like, come on, dude, like, to what point do you want to take it, man? He's taking it to the point that's beyond cyberbullying, man. He's taking it to the point, like, he, like, I don't know what does, does he do his, like, I know he has, like, two or three kids, man, and a family, and his fa he has a beautiful family, right? Is Does he teach that? Does, does he do, do his kids actually watch his videos, man? Like, you want to teach that to your kids like who are you uh what example are you like are you what, what example are you doing like for real man like like it's cool here and there haha ha, we attack our character do it but then when you once you bring family in in the picture bro it's a total different thing man and and the thing is i don't want to have beef with anybody and i tried telling this guy dude like if you want to scheme with me or you want to laugh because at that point i think he was trying to laugh for a tournament you know, he was just coming back at me, trying to come back at me, trying to get me to talk on the mic and shit to record me talking and stuff like that. But, you know, it's just like, and the thing is that he went to the Atlanta ATO Gamer Society tournament and he was dressed up as me and he was talking all this Mac and everybody was just looking at him knowing that that shit is wrong, but nobody would tell him anything. Like nobody had the balls to tell this guy anything. Cause they're like kind of afraid that he's gonna turn their back on them or something i don't know but if i was there they're like i don't know I, that's why a lot of people want to kick this guy's ass you know i've seen it he's posted a video where this guy just came out and punched him i don't know where dude like he's going beyond a point and attacking people to where one of these days you know he might he might get really hurt if he doesn't stop man but for me i just like dude like you need to calm down what i did to avoid the situation if he's actually attacking you or attacking some of the other guys because i know he likes to pick on everybody uh, just erase him out of your existence existence that's it just take him out of your life don't listen to him that's what exactly what i did i did copyright uh i did do a copyright claim on some of the videos he had some pictures of me that he shouldn't have had there uh, you know making fun of my family and stuff like that so i did take him off man so just like i said man like like you see somebody doing something wrong right and you just there smiling like smiling and not doing anything about it about it you know just being a bystander you're not you're not helping out you're making the situation worse like i saw that shit in the ato gamer society you could tell that guy that was hosting was annoyed and he and he knew that shit what he was doing was wrong because he just kept doing it and doing it and doing it 
And they never told them anything, bro. Like, come on, guys, step up. Have the fucking balls, guys. You guys are football players. You guys are Madden players. Have the fucking balls to tell this guy to shut the fuck up and get out of here, man. You know, you don't need to stain the community more than it is with people like that, you know. He's still living in the MySpace days, all right, where shit used to be different, where shit you could do and get, uh, you could do stuff and get away with it. Nowadays, it's totally different, bro. I could actually go and press charges for shit like that, for cyberbullying and shit like that, man. Like, this guy doesn't get it. He's still living in MySpace days where where he was in the uh, Madden Bowl, the Madden whatever back in the 90s or the 2001s and 5s. That shit is over, bro. This guy still lives in that era. Hey, guys, right now I think he should be a better example for his kids, you know, and, you know, squash the beef, bro. Like, I don't want beef with you, dude. Like, there's no beef with me and you. The first thing was problem, but problem really just didn't care. All right, he posted some comments on Facebook and stuff like that. I went back to reply to those comments, but then that's it. But then your mama came in and took it a step further and took it beyond and crossed the line, really crossed the line by doing what he did, man. But anyways, like I said, what I did, I just turned my back, do not listen to them, it's over, you know, and I'm just gonna go ahead and continue with what I do. And I'm gonna do it with my head, head up high, man. Whether they like it or not, I'm still gonna do my thing. And I just don't agree that people, when people say, oh, I, you can't use that route because that route is mine. Or you can't do that because that is a fucking video game, dude. Like, you serious, bro. Go to COD, go to FIFA, go to any other fucking game. There's no way somebody's claiming anything, dude, because it's on the fucking video game, all right? I never this problem. It, if it sounded like that problem, I never dissed you. I actually gave you props, bro, because I look up to you. But ever since that happened, bro, it just like changed my whole perspective of who you guys really are. Those tournament players we look up to, man. And that's why I'm here, to help you guys out and help you guys figure shit out, man. So let me know what you guys think. And like I said, man, it is what it is, man. And shit happens. Once you have success, people always try to bring you down. But it's up to you to be stronger and just to go ahead and look forward and look beyond past all that negativity man so until later hope you guys like this blog let me know who you guys want me to talk about next and hopefully you guys enjoy this bye thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe down here below for more tips more strategies more schemes more gameplays more tournaments and more giveaway prices later it's your boy shock 360 hit that like button don't forget comment and subscribe